Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the UPWA Summer Showdown. This is your play-by-play -play man, MC Hale, with my partner, Matthias Wallace. Great to be back here at the UPWA, Sean. Here we go with Eric Evans taking on VA Hampton in a match that will be kicking off what will be a great night of action here at the UPWA Summer Showdown. The third man you are used to hearing in the booth with us, Donald Brower. He and his Donald Brower Enterprise are right now continuing their celebration from their big wins in our last event. Right now we're getting you started with one-on-one -on -one action. Eric Evans and VA Hampton in the ring just warming up, just getting themselves started. And let's see what we have coming up at the UPWA Summer Showdown. Hampton again in the corner. Evans utilizing his strength advantage and the size advantage over Hampton. Hampton's going to have to utilize his speed, quickness, and agility if he hopes to win this match and not taunt the crowd so much. Another lockup, and there goes Hampton again into the corner. Obviously a classic matchup here of size and strength against speed and agility. Evans, the bigger, stronger man, looking to take advantage against Hampton, but Hampton looks like he was able to scoot out a little bit. Evans able to still get the upper hand and drives a few knees and a clubbing blow to the back of Hampton. Hampton goes for a ride up and over a hip toss by Evans. Hampton looks like he's in a world of hurt right now. And another blow to the back of Hampton by Evans. I think for all the bravado and the taunting of the fans and all the flexing he was doing before the bell rang, Hampton may have blown his best shots taunting the crowd and not concentrating on his opponent. That is a mistake that you cannot afford here in the UPWA. Well in control of the match right now is Evans as Hampton is struggling to get some air. Comes back to, the, to his feet just in time to be dragged onto the ropes. Evans putting all of his weight against him and then throws him in with an Irish whip. Hampton with a quick duck and a drop kick to Evans. Evans hits the back, hits his back on the mat very hard. Hampton measuring him, waiting for Evans to get up. And another drop kick sends Evans down to the mat. Hampton calling for his opponent to get back to his feet so he can deliver a third, but no. Evans doesn't go anywhere. Hampton just does not have the body mass to put his opponent down. Eric Evans, knowing that he has the match under control, still a lockup between the two men resumes, and Hampton into the familiar place of the turnbuckles. Evans with the knee, a knee to the midsection. And here he goes, ready to give it what looks like to be, yes, an Irish whip right into the turnbuckle and a big boot to the face. A bit of a glancing blow, but that could have opened up a cut on Hampton's face. Once the blood gets into the eyes, then there's just no way you can see. There's no way that you're gonna be able to keep your wits about you during this match. Referee takes a two count. Evans takes Hampton's head up. Looks like he wants to do a little bit more damage before he's done with this match. Evans picking up his opponent to deliver more punishment. An Irish rip into the ropes and a forearm right to the face. A forearm to the back of the head. Picking up his opponent. Evans is going to oh, Hampton hanging onto the turnbuckle, onto the ropes. Hampton so exhausted he can't even get to his feet. And here we go, a variation of the camel clutch. A, su a punishing submission maneuver. Evans was using his power. Now as we zoom in and we see the pain on Hampton's face. Here we go, zoom in a little more. Look at the face, the man's grimacing. He looks to be in some pain, not only his chin, but his back. That move will punish the back used by the Iron Sheik, Sean. VA Hampton, very frustrated. It looks like he's in pain, but also Wants to get back into this match as soon as possible. Evans just circling his opponent right now. Hampton putting his weight on the ropes, just trying to get his feet underneath him. And speaking of getting his feet underneath him, he drives one of them right into the midsection of Evans. A couple of forearm shots to the head. Evans is reeling right now. Hampton trying to take control of the match. Back into the turnbuckle. Evans going for a ride. No, reversal. Hampton into the turnbuckle. He hits hard and flips head over heels back into the center of the ring. Eric Evans picking his man up by his head. That'll definitely knock the wind out of you. Hampton's chest cavity ran right into that turnbuckle. And ooh, a scoop slam goes, wow. 
Evans just threw him like a rag doll. Hampton landing about halfway across the ring into the corner. Evans in full control right now. Drops a knee down into the back of Hampton. He's just punishing the back of his opponent, V.A. Hampton, right now. That's a cover. One, two, and no, a kick out by V.A. Hampton. He's not done quite yet in this match. Evans just laying on the punishment, helping Hampton to his feet. No good news for e Hampton. There goes, oh, a form right to the draw. Hampton will not go down without a fight. Here we go, twisting him in a hammerlock and a kick right to the midsection. And a double, and a spinning kick, reminiscent of X-Pac. I'm not sure that we want to be calling anything as reminiscent of X-Pac here. This is UPWA, a bit of a higher quality wrestling. Hampton trying to get a big body splash on Evans, but he's caught and slammed down in the middle of the ring. Again, this is our opening contest here at UPWA's Summer Showdown. Evans with a cover, but not enough to take down VA Hampton. You've got to wonder, with a beatdown that Evans has clearly been dominating this match, what else can we look forward to in tonight's Summer Showdown at the UPWA, MC Hale? A number of matchups we have coming up, but we're concentrating right now on our opening contest, this one-on-one -on -one bout that Evans is in full control of at the moment. The reverse chin lock against Hampton. Hampton's struggling, trying to maintain his composure, trying to maintain his consciousness. His arm drops once and twice, one more, and we're going to have an end of the match. No, no, Hampton is able to keep his arm up. He's trying to fight, trying to get some support from the crowd going. Evans wrenching on the chin and neck of VA Hampton. A couple of knees by Hampton to the head of Evans. A few more forearm shots, a rake to the back and another trying to use everything he's got. The little power that he still has left, a running drop kick by Hampton. And both men are now down on the mat. Right to the ribs. That is going to knock down Evans' wind, and he won't be able to breathe as well. And whoa, a springboard leg drop off the ropes onto Evans. Hampton may have this one. Let's get a count. One, two, and the referee does not reach the count of three. Evans still has some juice left, and here we might see a second win coming out from Hampton. VA Hampton definitely needs to keep this going, using his speed and agility, taking the wind out of Evans, making sure he tires himself out, but he's thrown back into the turnbuckle, and a huge chop by Evans. Well, that's certainly going to put an end to that comeback, and another. No can do with the end of the comeback. Here in the UPWA, there you go, he catches him. Hampton's in the air, and here we go. We might see a reversal. Wait, is he going to go down? Where is he going? Evans keeping us all in suspense. Hampton trying to get, boom, a power, modified power slam. Referee in position, a one, a two, and a, a three count. Eric Evans is your winner for this match. VA Hampton just overmatched the size and strength of Eric Evans. Just too much to overcome in this match. This is just our opening contest here at the UPWA Summer Showdown. We have more to come right after this.